Hey everyone, my name is Liz. I post four beauty related videos a week and that's on a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday at four. It's always related to makeup and maybe a bit of clothing so if that's the kind of videos you like then please subscribe down below. In this video it's really exciting because it's kind of like my first collab I've done in well since I've been very consistent on this channel because I have done a collab back in the day years ago um, but this is my first collab with a lovely lovely friend of mine called Alex so her makeup channel is makeup with Alex Kate this is some of the content that you'll see on her channel she is just an amazing lovely lovely person and because we're both going to be doing the same video where we're going to be using a whole load of beauty bay makeup on our skin we thought why not collaborate so once you finish here head over to Alex's video because I'm sure it's going to be amazing so let's just dive straight into this I'm gonna prime my eyes with the P Louise base in a minute but first I want to show you the palette that I'm going to be using their new sunset horizon palette actually comes in a box like this now I haven't actually opened it just yet because I wanted to see it first on camera and then some bubble wrap I love that they put bubble wrap in there look at that so this is what the palette looks like. You've got some yellows, golds, pinks, blues, neutrals, grungier colours. Pretty excited to play with this palette. It was £15, so it wasn't actually too expensive. Beauty Bay is actually quite a nice, decently priced brand. Um, I feel like I really want to go in with these bottom shades here, something a bit more grungier. Let's just swatch it for you guys, because... I can imagine everyone's probably thinking, what does it swatch like? Because I've heard, I've got the Nikki palette and a, a lot of people were saying it wasn't that great, but usually Beauty Bay's formula is really good. Like these are swatching really well. Maybe not this shade called Shell, let me swatch it a little bit more. But they're swatching quite nicely. And then this is the last one from that row. So that is the first row. It's really hard to see. Like, even that pink colour is not swatching too well. Let's try that again. Oh, you just have to build it up, which I'm not bothered with. Let's swatch this second row here. Look at that. It's got a weird duo chrome to it. See, this is the Beauty Bay formula I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with. Wow. The last shade from that second row. See? That is really, 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 really pigmented. We're gonna swatch this row here, the third row. See, they're really pigmented. Oh, look at that green. Is that an aqua shade? And then the last shade. See, no issue so far, except for maybe these two colours, but they are quite pale anyway got the palette messy already so now we're going to swatch this last row here really really impressed with the swatches just look at that that is insane they've all swatched pretty well and the palette retails for £15, like I said, is a really decent, decent price. As my transition colour, I want to go in with Reef. I've just attempted this look and I didn't like what I was doing. So we're going to start again. And this actually is a Beauty Bay brush in Best Angle. I want a massive brush because this is going to act as my transition shade. And this palette is really pigmented. I'm literally going to do something that's a bit sunset-y. Then I want to go in with the shade Sorbet, Corally Orange shade. This is so easy to work with. Now I want to go in with this shade here called Flamingo. I love how easy they're all blending into each other. And now I'm hoping this don't mess it up, but I really want to take this shade here called Twilight. Just on the outer corner so I can deepen it up a little bit. We'll use a Nancy tapered crease for this. And then take what was left from Flamingo and blend that out. Now 
Now of course we've got to go in with Oasis for the crease because look at that, like it's so, so good. Okay, I'm gonna use the rest with a brush so I can be a bit more precise. I feel like to blend that into that purple, we should take the shade deep. And then maybe a yellow for up here. So maybe a bit of the shade on the end here, which is called Moonlit. Again, another tape of crease brush by Nightshade. And then let's just add a bit of this shade here called Mirage into the inner corner and the brow bone. And then I like to use my finger to blend it in so it's not too harsh. Like that. So, so far this is what this eye is looking like. I'm going to go and do the other eye off camera, put some winged liner on and come back to you once I finish my base because we've got some more exciting products to use. So I've done my base, I've used a foundation by MUA Pro Base, it is in 146, just a little dab of that, and 130, I've used my Conceal and Define Concealer, I've used my Pro CC Powder because you know I love that by Revolution, and of course my NYX Honey Dew Me Up is my absolute fave primer. It is time to get some colour back into my face because I am looking pretty pale at this point. And the Beauty Bay bronzers actually come in a little box like this. They're very dainty, very small. And then they come in a little box like this. They're very small. I think it was £5.50. And this is the shade Fawn. I haven't even swatched this yet. Let me just... And that is the shade there. Let's go and put this bad boy on my face. My dog's proper snoring. She is exhausted. She doesn't sleep through the night at the moment. Because she keeps getting up to play. And now she's asleep. Make sure you dust it off and let's see. I'm just gonna look at my mirror. Oh, it's a nice shade. Not too dark, not too muddy. Perfect bronzer shade. Yeah, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect shade for me. Love it. But that is perfect. It's added the right amount of colour into my life. Now before I do my cheeks, you know I like to put a bit of blusher on. And of course Beauty Bay have come out with some blushers. Again, they come in these little packets, packet, packaging. And I have the shade Blossom, which has a bit of shimmer in it. But it's that shade there. You know, they're just so petite and da dainty. And this is the shade Bitter. This is the shade I'm going to use, of course. But it's like something you can build up. Or have really pale so let's put a bit of bitten on oh god that is pigmented okay it looks bright now but I'm sure with a bit of bronzer underneath and highlight on top it won't look as bad let's go back in with fawn like to bring it up here as well just feel like it melts in together better this way do like this cheek much better. Now for one of my favourite parts is the highlight. So the highlight is in the shade Beam. Doesn't this just kind of scream my name if it was just a little bit more golden? Oh, oh. It is really like champagne-y so it's not as gold as I like but let's try it out. You ready for this guys? A little bit goes a long way. I just keep wanting to put it all over my face and I'm running out of places. All of them come in the same shape boxes. I think they retail for like £5.50 each. Okay, so blushes are £6. Bronzers are £6. Okay. And highlight is £5.50. And they have four shades of highlight at the moment. Eight colours of blusher and eight colours of bronzer. So not too bad. I do wish there was a bit more highlight, like a more goldy tone highlight for me. But pretty sure I'm loving my base right now. Time to do under the eyes. I'm thinking of going in the inner corner with twilight. Sorry, the outer corner. And then on the inner corner having a bit of flamingo. So 
So far this is what Twilight is looking like, I'm really loving it. Okay, I have one more thing. The Beauty Bay Pastels eyeliner. So I got the green, blue and purple I believe. Now this is a trio that came for £12.50. So they're very, very pigmented. I've already tested them on my hand, so that's the green. Oh yeah, so this one's called Minted. Aurora, which is the purple, which is the one I feel like I'm gonna use. And then we've got the shade Blue Skies. Yesterday when I put these on, I could not get them out my hand, off my hand. I even had a bath and they would not move. They are like twisty up. And, um, let's see how much product you get in there, because it is £12.50 for free quite a lot i'm not gonna go any further just in case i break it guys you can actually see it in my waterline i'm really really impressed with that usually you can't see pastel colors you can see this so i'm so happy for that and lastly we have to test out oh, why do i keep doing that is the glosses now i have three i have the shade petal which is like a nudie pink shade right there just love their packaging then we have slippers which is this like caramel light caramel shade smell like vanilla -y chocolate lastly we have the shade mudslide which is this dark brown which to be fair if i wasn't wearing such a bright look i would use and that one there they retail for £8 each, so I'm just going to put my espresso lip liner on. I think I'm going to put the pinkier shade on, which is called Petal. Mm, okay, time to put the gloss on. You know what? It is a nice thin formula. The applicator is a doe foot. I really, really like this gloss. Really like. And so far, I'm loving everything that's on my skin. There's not a single thing. I have not enjoyed. This is the finished look. What do you guys think? I'm in love with everything. Really, really love this palette. It was great price, £15. It's really worth it. I love the colour story of it. It literally is, as it says, Sunset Horizon palette because look at this. You can literally get so many different tones of different sunset colours like I love like there's two yellows, two pinks, two oranges, blues and everything has a corresponding shimmer so I'm in love with the palette. The formula is amazing, it's a bit crumbly so I would suggest doing your eyeshadow before the rest of your face because even after I did my face I feel like I still had a bit on my cheek so definitely do your eyeshadow first. The blushes are extremely pigmented. I absolutely love it. Do you know what? I actually like the, the packaging because it's very small and slim. Like you could fit all three that you needed into your little makeup bag because with my makeup bag, I like to have a thin one. This is what I take to work. It's quite thin. The zip breaks a lot. So I need something that's just gonna slot in. And these would slot in perfectly. Like the width of all three of these could be like the width of one makeup item. So I'm thoroughly thoroughly impressed with the formula the shades i do wish like i said there was a couple of more shades to the highlighters but the blushes and the bronzers have a nice shade range and i'm really really impressed with all of this i didn't have an issue with any of this and quite happy with the price point is a very decent price point the pastel lip liners are really really worth the money i can't believe i could actually see them in my waterline for three of them for £12.50, this is a very decently priced collection. I will will definitely be purchasing more from their eyeliners. So I think they've got like some darker ones, another set of pastels. I think they've got like four sets of these. So I will definitely purchase more of these in the future. I absolutely think they are worth the money. And if you wanted to buy them singly, I think you can. And they're just so dainty. Everything about this collection is so small that all of it will fit into my makeup bag. And... I'm so happy of the size and the price of everything and how pigmented everything is. I just, I love the brand. The lip glosses are my absolute fave of this collection. There's like eight shades, maybe even more, and they're buy three for two at the moment on Beauty Bay. So if you want a few, 
go and get them these are incredible they smell so nice like a chocolatey vanilla -y scent and yeah they're just like a nice thin formula they're not sticky at all it just makes your lips feel a bit more plump and that's what i like in a lip gloss i love the packaging like and they've got a little b at the front there so everything about this whole collection from beauty bay like the own line i'm really really impressed not wait to see what alex has done with this collection because i can imagine it's incredible i'm so glad that i've done this collaboration with alex because she is very very talented so please go and subscribe to her put her links down there her insta everything she's doing so well and I'm so glad, again, I'm going to keep saying it, that we got to collaborate. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please smash it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe down below because that giveaway is now happening. I finally hit 500 subscribers. So stay tuned because the giveaway is probably going to be the next video on my channel. And I will see you soon, guys. Bye.